Hi and welcome to this session. In a previous video we have seen how to run Keyclock with Docker. Today I want to show you how to integrate Keyclock, how to secure your Java EE application using Keyclock. So let's get started. So for our demo I prepared this simple Java EE project. It consists of one servlet demo and it shows this message when accessed using get method. So in my web XML file, so I mapped this servlet to this URL. Now we are using any kind of authentication. Let's compile and deploy this servlet in a Tomcat instance. So we will compile our project using Maven. Package has been created and let's deploy this WAR file in Tomcat. I have a local instance. I will copy the WAR file to the web apps and I start Tomcat. Server has been started. So let's see now, let's check. I am running Tomcat on this port and you see the application is working. However, we are not yet using any kind of authentication. So now I'm going to show you how to secure your application using Keyclock. Keyclock provides several adapters to secure your application. In our case, because we are using a servlet, we will use filter for that. So we have only to define a filter in our web XML. But before doing that, you have to add the, the dependency to get this filter in your project. And this is the dependency Keyclock servlet filter adapter. So you have to add it to your POM file and load it. And after that you have to create the filter in the web xml file like this this is the filter provided by Keyclock and you have to define the URL pattern. It means that all requests will pass by this filter. So when adding that you need also to, to do some configuration. This is my Keyclock. You have to provide this file and in this file you need to define the realm and provide a server URL. So let's let's first start our web SSO server. So let's start the SSO service using Docker. The name of the Docker image. You see the container has been started. So let's go to the browser. Now we access the administration console. And yesterday we created this demo realm and inside this one we defined this client, demo client. And here you can find the credential. We copy the secret and we go to this JSON file. So the URL is correct. So we have only to adjust the secret and also the realm or the tenant demo demo client and you can keep this parameter like this so time out and so on and let package create new package and redeploy we stop and we redeploy and we start tomcat again now let's see let's try to access the application web SSO. And you see that now we cannot access, we have to authenticate. And you see now we have to authenticate, we have to enter a user. So let's see which user we can use. We defined it yesterday, a demo user. So demo user and the password is a demo. sign in and you see now we can access the application. So this was a way how to secure your application using Keyclock. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching and bye.